Hi YouTube, this is going to be a review of the ZT0808. This knife is a Todd Rexford design made by Zero Tolerance. This is the second Todd Rexford design frame lock flipper that they've done. The first was the ZT0801, which is another knife I've done a review on, so if you want to see that, go check that out on my channel. Give you a first couple looks at it. Look at the whole thing. A lot of reflective surfaces on it, so I might get a little bit of weird camera glare and everything going on. Give you some nice flipping action in the beginning of the video. Very smooth both ways. Flips out great, and it's on bearings. And they've done a very good job at that. Very strong detent. It's really easy to get your finger to slip off. But it's not bad. You can get this, put your finger on the side right there. And then it rockets out easy. I have cut myself with it. This is the first day I've played with the knife. And I cut myself right on one of my other scabs from the ZT0801. So... It's sharp at least. Get into some of the specs. Overall length is 7.625 inches. Blade length is 3.25 inches, so not very big both ways. Uh, relatively small for zero tolerance knives. Blade thickness is about the same as normal at 0.16 inches thick, so they're not making it any thinner. Still a nice blade thickness. They have switched over on this one to S35VN. There you can see the serial number. That's my area code, 614. You can see Rexford Design, Kai USA, the owner of Zero Tolerance. Handle thickness is 4.375 inches. And the last measurement I have is the weight, which is 4.3 ounces, so not too bad. Pretty thick uh, titanium sides, pretty thick blade, it's not too bad, and a very thick full titanium backspacer, which adds a lot of weight to it, but it doesn't feel bad in the hand or in the pocket. Get to some of the review now. Well, other specs, I guess, not measurements. Um, it's got a polished pivot right there. Polished backspacer. Kind of hard to see it also with this glare. Those are all finger smudges on there. The hardware is sunk in a little more than on the other ones, but the Handle is more clean looking than the 0801. It doesn't have a bunch of gouges down in it or fullers or whatever. Just a little zero tolerance marking. Comes with two screws on this side and two screws on that side. These are the ones that hold the pocket clip in. This is if you want to switch it over. Nice sized lanyard hole. There you can see that backspacer sticks out a little bit. It looks really nice in there. Really nice chamfering. Uh, the contouring on all the handles is really nice. They've gone to a new style of pocket clip, which I like this a lot. It's not a deep carry pocket clip like the 0801 and a couple of the older ones, but I like this better. As you can see, this much about, or up to here probably, will all be sticking out of your pocket, but I've never had a problem with how far my knife sticks out of the pocket, so doesn't bother me at all, might bother some people, but I don't really care about deep carry. Centering looks pretty nice, maybe a little to the right side right here, uh, but very slightly. Give a couple more looks at it. I'll look at the blade. The blade is satin 
and has a stone wash on the flats. Looks really nice together. It kind of, the satin looks a little too computer done, I think. It's a little too perfect looking. I don't know if I like that look on it, but I think it does work well with the knife. Kind of hard to see again because of those reflections. You can see there's a little swedge on each side. Kind of makes this to like a diamond coffin shape type uh, right there on the spine of the blade. And the spine of the blade is also stonewashed. I think it's a really cool knife. It flips really well. It's really smooth. It closes really well. Really easy to uh, disengage the lock. Uh, it could be a great knife to carry around. Pretty small compared to a couple other zero tolerance knives. I'll give a little comparison to a pretty common knife. Spyderco Sage 2 right there. So you can see Spyderco Sage 2 is a pretty small knife and it really doesn't make the 0808 look very big. So relatively small knife. They've kind of moved down to uh, some smaller knives. There's two other that they just came out with, along with this one, that are on the smaller side of knives, and a couple that are big. But, as you can see, Zero Tolerance is really stepping their game up. Titanium, S35VN, uh, the detents are great. The bearings, everything is nice, fit and finish is perfect pretty much. I think they're really one of the best knife uh, production knife companies right now. So if you don't have a zero tolerance, I definitely recommend checking them out. If you have an old zero tolerance and you didn't really like it, or you did really like it, I would suggest checking their new ones out because they will blow you away. Because they really started making nice knives. Here's a close it. Lay that down. Here's one of the older zero tolerances. This just came out I think last year maybe, but I don't know the G10, the titanium. This has been pimped. It's been carved and sandblasted and everything, but still I don't know. Something about it just didn't feel feel good like this one. This one, they really hit it out of the park. I think it's a great design by Todd Rexford. Great follow-up to the 0801. So yeah, check it out. Check out all the other new designs. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this video. Thanks for watching.